on to health matters. Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe has directed the Kenya Medical Training College Board to allow nurses to train and pay later as the government eyes foreign employment opportunities for them. Kagwe gave this directive in Malindi after officially launching the National Nursing and Midwifery Policy that seeks to streamline the sector and protect practitioners from legal suits emanating from their work. Kagwe has said the government is in talks with the governments of Saudi Arabia, Italy, Kuwait and other countries to offer employment opportunities to Kenyan nurses. We are not talking about sending our critical care nurses or the nurses that we need in the country. What we are talking about is the extra capacity that Kenya has built as a result of a, a, a passionate um, education system and that, were, that allows both public and private sector to participate in training. It is because of that um, uh, setup that we have got extra capacity and that capacity, if we are not using in this country, should be taken to work overseas. According to Kagwe, KMTC is charging nurses who want to train for foreign jobs 40,000 shillings, which most of them cannot afford. The CS saying Kenyans, irrespective of their financial status, should be given an opportunity to study and get jobs outside the country, adding that the country was producing 7,000 graduate nurses every year who cannot be absorbed in local institutions. I have directed today that we must create a structure we are not a single Kenyan, a single health worker with an opportunity to work overseas is stopped because of lack of money, lack of financial capability. The new nursing and midwifery policy will help safeguard practitioners from legal issues and streamline the sector.